moving into cosplay genie and we have started a cosplay basic tutorial in case you guys haven't noticed which is the basic sword we did the basic breastplate and adding on to that now we have the basic weapon prop so i generally use a lot of mobile in my costume but i've started to venture more into foam and today we're going to show you how to make a basic battle prop this is a battle axe that is made entirely out of foam and a pvc pipe and to make it sturdy and travel friendly it's detachable so let's get started on this tutorial all right so in order to make this if you guys have checked out the sword tutorial you'll know that you have to cut out the pattern onto a foam use thick foam for this and cut it out three times once you have cut it out the same pattern thrice cut a hole in the middle on of the middle pattern and you will really need to glue them together using contact cement or sr Then I'm going to stick in my PVC pipe into the middle and the bottom part and then I'm going to use contact cement on the final part that is the top part of it and let it all stick together and dry nicely. Now we're going to take a sharp cutter and we're going to cut down all the edges on both the sides so that we have that edge blade on all the sides of the axe. You're not going to do it on just the bladed side but throughout the whole axe depending on whatever design that you guys are choosing. For this next part, you are going to need either a Dremel or a lot of patience and sanding paper. Luckily, I had the Dremel. So, we are going to take your Dremel and Dremel out all the nooks and crannies and try to smoothen out the edges as much as you can. Once satisfied with the smooth edges, you are going to take a pen or a marker and start building up the pattern. For this design, I want it to look like a little broken lava rock. So, I am going to make the design and using my Dremel, I am going to drill the holes and the cracks that I need into the axe. Once I have all my cracks ready, I'm going to flip it over and do the exact same thing on the other side as well. This step is optional, I'm just showing you different techniques of different patterns. Whatever design pattern you guys are following, you just have to make sure you draw it up. If it has any additional additions, you just glue it with foam. Now for the next step here, I'm going to take thin foam sheet and I'm going to cut scales which are going to match the different part elements of this costume. I'm going to cut out different pieces of the same size and shape, a lot of them and before I glue it on onto the piece, I need a little bit of elevation and support. So I cut out a strip of thick foam and I'm gluing it right in the middle. This is going to give me that support where I can glue my other pieces on. Now being patient one by one, I'm using glue gun for this step. You guys can use contact cement or SR. I just wanted to finish this real quick. So using a glue gun, I'm going to stick them on top of another, layering them like scales. And then I'll flip it up and do the exact same thing on the other side. Now that my building part is done, I'm going to be ready to do the painting part. Before painting, you guys can seal and do a nice priming layer but I'm gonna go directly with the final step because I'm using these acrylic colors and they're thick enough and the foam does not really soak up that much. First, I'm going in with some red, yellow and orange shades onto the cracks making it look fiery. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna use a little bit of brownish hue for the base layer because I wasn't sure if it's going to look nice since the foam is already black. I wanted to see the black effect. Now I'm gonna paint a little copper onto the other details part that I've made. Once the first layer is dried off, I'm gonna go in back with black and I wanted to give it a little rough texture. So with my brush, I'm not going to make strokes but actually dab it so that I have a rough texture onto the blade. Once my blade is done, I'm going to let it dry and there it is. Alright, so that's exactly how you're going to make your battle props. You can use the same technique to make any sort of battle prop, daggers or even a battle axe or huge weaponry. All you need is a PVC pipe as your base foundation and to make it metro and travel friendly, I made it into two parts where it's connected with the connector inside and the rest of the parts is covered in foam. So, if you guys really like this tutorial, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what else you want us to make. And don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel and hit that bell icon so that you guys can be notified every time we post a new video. We're going to be coming up with a lot of more tutorials every week. So, make sure that you guys follow us. This is Cosplay Genie, Call me Orin, signing off. And I'll see you guys next time.